grateful to uh, Mr. Jha for his opinion, for inviting me to this meeting where I have met so many of my students and friends and those who have made me feel my work. I'm thankful to Professor Mangal Gurdi for the book that we have produced. And I'm thankful to the publisher who has brought it up and presented it to the whole set of people who ever want to study English. I wish the book finds a good market in India, all over India, and I congratulate Professor Moody for taking upon himself the responsibility of spreading the message of English. And if you pay attention to him, he has said to him, um, to his, I think, greater glory that your knowledge of English will depend upon. If not depend upon, it will be encouraged, it will be reinforced by your knowledge of your own language. It's a matter of great interest to me and to everybody should be, but it's not a matter of debate right now. To listen to, pay attention to his words, think about it, how will the first language help you to understand and appreciate the foreign language, which is English, better. The other day I was talking to a friend of mine about my understanding of the rhythm of English poetry only through my easy understanding and appreciation of the rhythm of Hindi poetry. That's one I would like to add to Professor Wu's observation about the relationship between first language and second language. I wonder if you remember there was a poet long time ago in, in India, wrote in Hindi. He is Hariyoga, Adhusyapasad Hariyoga. A few lines from him. Devas ka avasan samay patar bhavanatha kachu lohit ho chala. That reminded me of Milton's paradise lost. Just as this poet has used Sanskritized vocabulary, and naturally the rhythm that is appropriate to Sanskritized words is similar to the vocabulary, the Latinized vocabulary of Milton, who has used it to write a great epic called Paradise Lost, and Paradise is being too late. Of man's first disobedience and the fruit that brought blah blah. So, just offhand, this is one example of showing how vocabulary, sensitized or Latinized, carry their, their own rhythm in poetry. And look at the Nirala's Juhi Gali, 
remind yourself of the way it begins. Juhit i Khalif. Suhit i Suhar Bhari. Bilan Banda Balleri Par Juhit i Khalif. The sprightly rhythm, trippingly on the tongue, is different from Haryot's heavy, ponderous rhythm. But nevertheless, it's equally appropriate and suitable to the uh, theme that you have written. Give us the power of science and the entire. That's one. That's a little bit of a jump. Um, the literature. We also mentioned the fact, I'm trying to expand. They mentioned the fact that literature can be the medium of teaching language. And the most effective method of teaching uh, language through literature. And now I must bring my discussion to a close because there are other speakers, more better speakers. Thank you very much. Very much.